Welcome to the print. I bring to you today a very special guest. With joining us on this very special interview is Revan Him Himmat Singhka. Revan goes by the name of Food Farmer on Instagram, and he made a series of videos which went viral. They, those videos were critiquing everyday food that we consume. One of the videos that really made national news, and in which NCPCR is now involved, and you know cricketers and film actors and all of Twitter really blew up, and that was his video on Bon Vita. Ravent actually highlighted in a now deleted video, and Ravent had was forced to take it down because he received a legal notice from Mondelez India. to take down that video in which revan was essentially highlighting that while bon vita advertises itself as a health drink it contains a lot of sugar the amount of sugar that is actually not good for us so now the national commission for protection of child rights has actually asked bon vita to remove misleading advertising from everywhere the napi also Uh, napi which is nutrition advocacy in public interest also came out in support of the food farmer who had actually highlighted the sugar content in his video a very warm welcome to you revant at the print thank so, you so much so that past two weeks must have been uh, it has been two weeks now am i right or has it been a longer period of time three and a half weeks since i uploaded the video first but since all the public attention has been there has been about two and a half weeks so uh, the, your video views crossed about what 9 million on instagram itself is it so it was 12 million so 1.2 okay. crore on uh, instagram and then i never upload because my twitter got hacked or whatever it happened uh, on twitter but like on twitter different people's videos got sh- uh, shared and they mm. also got like a few million and I feel the major traction, more than even the 1.2 crore on Instagram, was on WhatsApp. Okay. There's no, there's no way for us to know how much that was. Uh, but like you know, I've got so many screenshots of different people sharing their family groups where someone or the other shared it, and from Hong Kong and US and like not only India, but like you know, it's pretty crazy. Okay, so how has this experience been? Like so much public attention, national news. Really, it was. almost prime time news how has this how have you dealt with this and especially not just bon vita i want to remind my viewers that even chavan prash and real juice uh, sent you notices for videos that you had to eventually delete yeah so that part the second part i think most media has not have not covered this particular thing that they only focusing on one particular product but not the others have created videos for other things as well Hmm. some of which i've got legal notices as well um but yeah i mean in terms of attention most of it has been positive the awareness has increased a lot of the people so got so many messages thousands of messages from re- uh, different parents that they finally started reading the nutrition label before they buy food now and hmm. lot of things that they were giving to their children they no longer just give it based on the advertisements now they are reading the label so that's i think according to me reading a nutrition label is the most important skill in the 21st century because everything we eat today most of what we eat today is processed or packaged and according to me it's even a more important skill than coding like it's the most important skill anyone should have so i'm really happy to see so many people millions of people getting more aware about it and reading the nutrition label now so uh, now that you're talking about nutrition labels there has been debate and there might be a decision that we will start front of package labeling in which the amount of salt fat sugar some essential things will have to be mandatorily highlighted on the front of the package how important is that decision how essential is it for consumer um, awareness it is super important um because most consumers either don't have the time or the knowledge to understand what is in the back of the package and it's a very complicated thing like you know it's not that you can just learn it in 5 minutes that just because because there are various ways to play around with the numbers in the back to make something which is not healthy look healthy there are many products diet sodas which are zero calorie and like zero uh, zero added sugar and all of that so 
if you just go by that you may think it's healthy uh, but it actually is not so i feel it's very important to have front labels uh, which are relatively accurate or uh, my friend just sent me pictures yesterday from mexico where everything out there has excess sugar or excess fat or whatever else very clearly labeled which is not happening as much in our country so i feel that is going to be very useful for consumers to make uh, more informed decisions right now um you know there was this one instagram post where where you were ca- carrying a plank and in another reel that you've made you there's one question that you ask why are we being silenced when we speak about food products in that video you say you know there are so many uh, other products like smartphones like laptops like films which are reviewed and receive negative reviews all the time why are food reviewers receiving this kind of legal notice kind of this backlash from these companies so you know like you there are other food influencers who are also critiqued crit- critiquing these companies and you're a normal citizen you don't have the kind of deep pockets to go to court and actually battle it out with the finest lawyers in the country so going forward what do you what what, what shape do you think food criticism or food product criticism online is going to take first of all i want to say that um as you said i want to reiterate for whoever has not watched that video that a film critic can uh, rate or review a product or a movie millions of fans rate or review movies every time an iphone comes out millions of people share their review of an iphone so why can't i as a nutritionist share my opinion about a food product that was basically my point i also want to say that there are hundreds and hundreds of reviews on the very products which have sent me legal notices so if you go on youtube and search for these products many people with way more following than i do with like millions of followers have rated these products very negatively and openly showed their trademark and logo and all of that but they have not to my knowledge got any legal notices so it has just been very rampant it's been done and even now it's being done i think the difference was just that my video went super viral so yeah. it, i became like someone who got a legal notice but there are again thousands of people doing it today now what the future of all of this will be i am not sure i think if this entire outcome of whatever happened with this particular episode if that is positive in nature by and large and like it seems like the government is supporting it and like supporting the video to a large extent so if it is positive in nature and like uh, then it may actually help a lot because then it will help all other influencers also be more honest and open and um, so let us see i i mean i myself had made a few more videos on certain products but i have not posted it right. um, but who knows if there is more and more favorable uh, opinion publicly um, shared then i may post it as well would you reupload these videos for which you have received legal notices uh who knows who knows i mean uh, let's see that's something which i'm not sure i want to do it but um, i am not sure like you know my family will get really mad with me if i do that um, like um, so i felt in a calm some place but like i feel like 97 98% of the public supports what i have done about 70% of my friends support what i have done and about 30% of my relatives and family support what i have done like most of my relatives and family are like why are you unnecessarily getting into uh, all this drama and attention and why are you fighting against such a big corporate you were doing such so well you had such a high paying job before just live a normal life man why are you getting into all of this so i don't know whether i'll be afraid it or not because there's a lot of no i'm not that stressed but my family is quite stressed and it's understandable i mean multiple notices from big corporates and here you are on prime time news of course they'll be worried right yeah i mean i guess so i mean i th- i think it's most of the news and most of the thing has been positive in nature it's not that the biggest doctors in india have supported what i've said and they have literally signed a document like you know saying that whatever i said was true 
the government has supported what i have done so like i am like trying to tell my family as well that you know what what more support do you need like you know there are thousands of people who are supporting me there the media supporting me the government is supporting me who else should need to who else like you know what else needs to happen they'll support you families indian families are difficult i do hope that they i'm sure they support you and i'm sure they'll also look at the positive side of things very soon the first day i am just uh, telling you that the day the first time i got a legal notice um one relative even told me that you're spoiling the family reputation and that was not in a jokingly way that oh you know he's concerned about me not in that sort of a thing so it's not like in a public perspective you see all the thousands of instagram messages saying that oh you know we support you we stand by you so it may to the public seem it's very uh, straightforward that why do i not pop- post more videos or and this and that but it's like you know if you look at the immediate people who are around you some are very positive and i'm going to take away from them some are very positive but not everyone i get that now um i want to ask you one thing does the real evil lie in these products or is the real evil in the misleading ads i would say more in the misleading ads um so i have a problem with cigarettes but i have lesser problem with them at least today because most people who consume cigarettes know it is bad for you and they still make that choice of consuming that cigarette same with soft drinks people who consume soft drinks mostly know that it is bad for them and they still choose that but in case of some of these health products which i made videos on people think it is good for them they often spend more money than they possibly can even afford sometimes and they do it for their children in most cases that you know i want my child to get the best nutrition and that feels wrong that you know that you are marketing some unhealthy product as uh, healthy so if it was marketed as healthy i would have no problem if it is marketed as a unhealthy product or if they did not market themselves as you know these four five things that they claim i would have no problem i probably would not have made that video i probably wouldn't have gone viral and everything so that is like the biggest issue for me is and when a parent gives a child a soft drink they probably usually give it once a week or once in two weeks but when of these health products they give it twice a day right so the actual consequence of these health products has a much larger consequence than even a soft drink in some cases not not, not all, all the time but just because of frequency of use that is why i made those videos and that is like my bigger problem so i feel the advertisement has a bigger problem than the product itself all right now in so talking of ads uh, you know bonvita's tagline is taiyari jeet ki in the original video one of your quips were that it should actually be taiyari diabetes ki but like in hindsight do you think you should have spoken only about bon vita or you should have also you know bashed or actually critiqued boost or horlicks or complan all these products as well so i don't want to comment too much on that video uh, for various reasons which are public but i want to say that that was a one one and a half minute instagram reel it is not a research report hmm. it is not a 20 page research report where i'll get the time to say okay this was good this was bad this was good this was the competitor which competitor this that so it's not a research report it's a one minute instagram reel to inform users that this product may not be as good as what you think it is that's it now the fact that it got so much media attention so much coverage someone told me that more people watch this reel than the number of people that watched brahmastra or like something like something random like that like you know someone told me uh, uh, like so, so i like it's not meant to be done like you know this was made not for some research purposes that you know 20 scientists will go and like you know analyze everything i've said this was meant to educate people it did that and i did my research before uh, making that video and all the doctors and nutritionists and all of that have back whatever i've said right. now i did not have that much time to analyze what the competitors are doing and i don't support the competitors all the leading competitors to my knowledge i'm not done an analysis on them but to my knowledge are not really that healthy either and uh, like i'll just say that 
I don't, I, from whatever little I know, I don't think they necessarily make you taller either. And um, some of these competitors make so those, those sort of claims. So I don't really support the competitors either. I just did not have enough time in that one minute to cover everything. So see, these products exist. Uh, even after all of this has happened, um, there's a huge chance that Bon Vita and Horlicks and whatever will be on our shelves and people will continue to consume it, right? Um, if I were if I were to ask you from a communication perspective, what kind of ads should these products have then? Now NCPCR has asked them to change their advertising. So in like if you would if if you were to imagine something, what kind of ads should these products have? So very good question. I'm not exactly sure, but one thing I want to say is that celebrities for example bollywood celebrities or cricketers and all should not be used for these child type products first of all um like when i was a kid you know you look up to certain celebrities whether it's sachin or whoever and you know if they are hypothetically selling you a product which is bad for you and they're claiming it's good for you then you of course as a kid you associate and like so many people have sent me some uh, voice notes and messages that you know they grew up thinking some of these products are healthy because of the celebrity so i feel like one celebrity should not be endorsing products which are for kids which are actually bad for them and two three i would say just like if at all they are making a health claim they should also make whatever is not that healthy in the video as well like you know okay you claim that okay it has vitamins and minerals okay that's good but you also say oh, yeah it has also also high in sugar yeah that's like my only thing that you know it so then the consumers have an accurate fair stand to decide now if you just say oh yeah this is the world's greatest product kind of you sell it like that then of course a lot of users which are who are very gullible who believe everything that whatsapp says and like who believe everything that the some celebrity says they're going to fall for it and that's not right so uh, you are a nutritionist so i'm asking you this question what should we have with our twice daily milk then or should we have milk twice daily that's a very uh, controversial question and there is no two nutritionists who probably share the same opinion about that we grew up having milk and now they are saying that a lot of people who have milk are actually intolerant towards milk not yeah. necessarily allergic but intolerant hmm. so whether or not you should have two glasses of milk every day or not is a very personal thing i am not sure of it depends on your intolerance it depends on your body type and a lot of other things but i do think one thing that you should try to avoid using any of these uh, additives like uh, because what will happen is that um you're getting your child used to and right in the morning you know at 7 am or 6 am the child wakes up you getting your child used to the sweet taste right in the morning itself and then in the evening again you're giving him a shot of that sweetness so in some ways you may be getting your child addicted to sugar at a very young age without even realizing that you're doing that you have the best intentions as a parent but you don't realize that you may be getting your child to do this so my only advice to and this is not the the health drinks are not the only issues there are so many other ketchups in the market jams which people are also giving to their children and like so many packet juices and uh, cereals and all of that which are also all the sugar adds up yeah so, um your parents are unintentionally getting their children addicted to sugar and when the children grow older they start craving sugar you i i sometimes crave sugar you may be doing it also so after i, I eat something i immediately start craving sugar and this and that so and i'm pretty aware of what i'm eating and still i am also like you know not the best so that's like my only advice to parents is like just be careful because childhood habits usually last very long and like you know uh, it's not only about that one spoon you're giving today that that habit may like you know even 50 years down the line may be there but um so this is i'm asking on a personal level for example it's so hot is it really that bad to have a spoonful of tang in a cold glass of water after i come back home from a grueling day uh, why you would have uh, mentioning these products man uh, so you can uh, have it for sure have it but don't have it regularly 
uh, and um, some of these products they try to make it such that you should uh, have it as a hydration thing that you know when you are feeling thirsty you should have some of these products Yeah. and that is like the challenge like you know they are trying to say that okay if you don't drink eight glasses of water then why don't you mix some of these products so that it will help you reach your eight glasses of water goal now mm-hmm. if you usually have five glasses of water in a, in a day uh if you start having three more glasses using some of these products and if you do it every day mm-hmm. or even if you do it once in two three days that is not good but if you do it once in two three weeks yeah it's fine so as long as you take the context of whatever i have made in the video in that consideration and you don't extrapolate it i think that's my point it's not that i am some extremist or i also also have some of these products i have made videos on but i just have it in a very light dosage but most people that i know don't have it in as light of a dosage that's why i made these videos all right raven thank you so much thank you for joining us today thank you